Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I've been busy moving and now I'm in my new little studio. It's a lot smaller than where I was before. This is basically what it looks like. So I have my desk here. I have recently purchased a new video editing laptop uh, just to sort of downsize to get rid of my chunky PC that I had. And it's more portable as well, so I can do it sort of on the fly and wherever I am. And let's go around. It's quite small. Windows there. Some boxes that I need to unbox. A little white table there. A box there. A chair and whatnot. And that's it. Can't really. Yeah, it's without knocking anything over. This is quite a little room, but I uh, should get my stuff done. Let's get on to the unboxing. The BV8000 Pro. So here we have the BV8000 Pro. This is a 4G smartphone and it's on gear best for around £180. It's got quite good specs. Well, really good specs, 6 gig of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. Now, viewers of my channel will remember the BB6000 that I had last year. Uh, this is basically the daddy, the upgrade. There was a B7000 as well, but I didn't see that one. So here is the contents. We can take this out. It has an OTG cable with USB Type-C, USB charging cable. Something you don't see very often with uh, mobile phones is our earphones. Uh, these are um, yeah, little earbud earphones. And the Blackview charging block uh, with outputs of 5, 7 and 9 volts. Let's get the beast out. Okay, there's something hiding underneath as well. Let's have a look there. This is a uh, it's nicely packaged box, it's some sort of hardened foam there. A few tools, just like the BB6000. Screwdriver, uh, some tiny screws in there as well because the back does remove off of there to put in um, SD cards and SIM cards. A manual, a floppy protector. Oh, nice. Nice, very nice that they've uh, included one of these. It is a USB type C connector to a micro USB. Type C to micro USB, very handy. So, it doesn't feel that heavy compared to the BB6000. I know it was a year ago, but I swear this BB6000 was a lot heavier. Pull that. Oh. Okay. Well, it's chunky. I'd say it's exactly the same sort of design and size as the uh, the BB6000 on there. Um, nice design, it definitely feels solid and well built. Um, it looks fantastic, peel off the mask. Okay, IP68 at the bottom, it's waterproof. That looks fantastic, it really does. And the back, that is beautiful isn't it, look at that. There we have the 16 megapixel camera on the rear with the flashlight and this back panel does remove. And inside there you can fit two SIM cards and a micro SD card. So on the side, volume rocker up and down and the button below that at the bottom, it's not marked or indicated. And if I remember the BB6000, they had a um, an SOS uh, function on there, and also uh, like a, a walkie-talkie button as well. That may well be that. I'm not 100% sure. 
at the bottom they've done away with the flaps I see and that is for USB type C to go in there on the BB6000 it was quite recessed in that fits in there okay good so on this side we have the camera shutter button there on the side it's a fingerprint sensor which is very handy just like a uh, Verni do uh, with the Verni Mars that had that and the power button at the top 3.5 mm port for headphones let's a bit of rattling there is there yeah a little bit that's the power button rattling there I think they all rattle actually might be annoying for some people. Let's turn it on. Okay. At the bottom there, that is the speaker grill. Just there. Okay, the welcome screen. Got it. And this is the launcher on the BB8000 Pro. There's no app drawer. Let's have a look at some of the apps you get on there. Outdoor Tool, ETWS, um, FM Radio, Compass. So not uh, too bad in terms of bloat, bloatware. Outdoor Toolbox. Let's have a quick look at this. What is this all about? Okay, that's pretty cool. Look, you get a compass. Let's have a look at that. I remember... Um, there was issues with the BB6000 and the gyroscope and the compass and whatnot. Uh, this seems to be operating okay. That's all right. So then a few magnifier, ped pedometer, uh, flashlight, bubble level on there as well. Cool. So that's capacitive buttons, back button, home button, and the wallpaper and widget button, the settings. Um, hold your finger down on home and that's your recent item so that's pretty uh, standard let's go to settings very quickly uh, all the way down to the bottom Android 7, yeah that's correct cool, that looks great super ok let's try the fingerprint then shall we uh, it's on the side there um, Okay, add another. It doesn't seem to like the same application. Yeah, it doesn't seem to like the same application, so you've got to be quite different. Okay, that'll do, done. Okay. Looking good. Let's try this 16 megapixel camera then, shall we? Let's take that shot. I think it's I think there's some autofocus in there as well. Ding ding. Okay. Let's scroll along to the video and shoot video. It's not looking too great in here. It's starting to darken just a little. Uh, you should see on the video. Let's switch around to the selfie camera and take a photo. Ding ding. And then video. Testing the obviously the video quality and the audio quality. The voice. <laughs> That'll do. Lovely jubbly. So I am going to test this to the max. The BB6000 I ran over uh, with a car, 
um, and it did withstand that uh, that beating. I'll include the link uh, so you can have a look at that. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it this one though. Um, I'm going to be water testing it though, definitely. So there will be a water test on this. First impressions are very, very good. Uh, the screen brightness is quite adequate. Uh, that's really bright there. And the viewing angles are very good too. Um, I might change the launcher though. I'm not too fond of that launcher. So this is the quick unboxing and quick look of the Plaqueview BB8000 Pro. Guys, I'll include a link in the description below if you want to take a look. Um, any questions, please comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.